Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. It's Thursday, the 10th of November. These are the charts of the day, and as we do every Thursday, a review of the swing trades over the last several weeks, some of which have been stopped, but most of them are in play, and here's how they look. AEHR, fantastic chart. I just love the way this looks. It's a beautiful run-up, and I think it's the third time we've been swinging this. We had a swing here that was great. We had one here that worked out well, and it's in play again. It looks to me like a stock that once it gets to here, should quickly get into the 26.7 range, maybe 29.30. AMPX in a three-week falling wedge or flag, and it looks to me like with low volume and fairly good technicals that this may pop soon. Keep an eye on it. Your resistance and targets in the 12, 12 and a half range, and then we're looking at 14. <clears throat> ARRY, a massive inverse head and shoulder breakout and then a long multi-week decline. Tested the trend line, broke out, pulled back and formed an inverse head and shoulders right-handed, extended V and a breakout yesterday with a follow-through today. Today was up another dollar twenty or six twenty-three. Volume, as you can see, has been solid. I'm looking to see what it does and if it can test twenty-three and a half. Then I'm looking at twenty-eight or better. AXSM did not have a good day today in the midst of a really broad rally in the market, which surprised me. But um, I would keep your stops on this one under fifty-three in case for some reason it's uh, there's a problem there. Anyway, uh, my, once it gets past sixty-seven, my near-term target, I look for low to mid seventies. CGC and building a beautiful base. Now today's pop of 56 cents or 17 and a half percent from 23.3 million to, and right at resistance, looking like a little inverse head and shoulders here. Left shoulder, head, right shoulder. We get to this level, the double top will be tested. We get to that level, four and a quarter, my next target. Might as well see five, you might see five and a half, six and a half. FCX and the copper sector, built a beautiful base and broke out. We put a swing on it, then back and filled for a few. Today was a bullish engulfing reversal day. First, a little bit of a lower low, and then a higher high. And finished at the upper end of the range up to 77 or 8% on good volume. Now, looking for a quick move to 38 and then 43.4. INMD with it, almost a bullish engulfing bar today, but a spectacular pop. Uh, three and a quarter points, finished up 318, 10%. Looks like the next target would be about 36 and a half three quarters, followed by 39 or more. MGNX popped and broke out today and then backed off, but it was still up 55 cents or 9%. You can see the run it's had from mid early October, 314, doubling to 704 and then some. My next target is 785. MNT momentum has been consolidating for three weeks. It popped today and jumped 55 cents or 7%. It might be on the verge of a breakout. Um, my next target is about nine, followed by ten and a half, three quarters. PACB also popped today, going from 834 to 1058, backed off around 10, up a buck 65. But I like the little look of it, and I'm looking now for a move to the 14, 14 and a half area. Perion popped again today and then backed off. You can see where it popped to that line. But it's the highest level reached since back in April. So for me, I think the follow through takes you to 26 and a half three quarters, and then you're looking at 31 two. Purple popped out today with big volume, or big enough volume anyway, and I put a swing on it. I think now that it's broken that pattern and closed right above it, your next target is six and eight. Ring central, big, big downtrend, but today a spectacular breakaway surge, moving from 32 to 38, 65 finishing, 36 and a quarter. Up 789, 28%. Vine was the heaviest we've seen in a long time, 7.7 .7 million. Actually, the biggest vine I've ever seen. Well, I'll go back about three years. That's how long it's been since the trade is fine. And it closed above the lateral resistance and the 10 to 21 day moving averages, as well as your decline top sign. So, a strong search showing. Next tech target 40 and 43. RUN with a big pop as solar stocks took off. Ran at resistance here. Your next target will be somewhere in the 38.9 zone. RVP, now for the last couple, three days, he's been backing off a little bit. Off just a fraction, but disappointing on a day like this. Nevertheless, spectacular chart. Higher levels may be seen, seven and a half and nine are targets. Guy T continues to pop and extend. A nice day today for this one. 
my targets at 13 and a quarter and 16. You can see the breakaway gap above the moving arch, which is a clean breakaway. Task after hours today, a strong report and exploded from 1867 at 2220. Finished 2208 up 316 or 17%. A good close. And let's see if we can get into that 25 six zone where next resistance is, followed by secondary resistance at a low to mid 30s. BRT popped and pulled back, but it broke out of the wedge it was in. And with this base pattern, I'm looking now for a gap fill up to about 19. And finally, Zyme, which is a new tech trader swing, back then filled for a few days. Today had a nice engulfing day, going from 7.11 at 8.23, finishing 8.20 up 68 cents or 9%. I think this is just getting started. You might see 10.11 and even as high as 13.14. Let's look at the some of the hot stocks in uh, on the swing trade list for the techtraders.com. Good night, everybody.